Okay guys, today we're going to do a review on the Charter Arms On Duty. And this model this is, is the 53810 if you go on the Charter Arms website. It's a stainless steel finish and the frame is aluminum. The grips are the basic standard for Charter Arms these days. It's just got the, the ergo grip there. It's kind of like a Packmeyer. And they're a lot lighter than Packmeyer though. It's a two inch barrel. It is a five shot, 38 inch special, shoots plus P. Easy to load, easy to shoot. And like I said, it's got the hammer exposed, so it is a double single action. And according to the Charter Arms website, the suggested retail price is $410, but I picked this up for $320. And it's a good gun to carry because it only weighs 12 ounces. So, other than that, the, uh, the trigger guard here is plastic, but it's no big deal to me because this is my everyday carry. So, it's really smooth. Cylinder moves freely. It pops out great. This, this is kind of dirty. I haven't cleaned it up. I've been carrying it every day since I got it. So... But other than that, I mean, there's no videos on YouTube about this. I've I've seen a lot of videos about the uh, it's the Charter Arms off duty, and that's only a double action only. So that's why I like having both options, and that's why I chose this gun. And it does have a the only thing that does have is a hammer block design, as it like basically a safety. There's no safety on this at all. So. If you do drop the gun that's loaded, the hammer cannot hit the firing pin. It's got a block in there, so it can't hit the firing pin and go off. The only way it can go off is if the hammer is all the way back and you release the trigger and it hits. As you can see there between the cylinder, there's the firing pin. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but that's when you hold on to the trigger all the way to engage. When you let go. It's gone. So you could basically have a loaded gun if you had to actually draw it for everyday carry and you didn't fire off. You just take this gun, hold on to the hammer very safely, and click your trigger and let go of the trigger and let the hammer down easy. That way your firing pin will not be exposed and let off around if you have to cock your hammer at all. So that's how you do that. But uh, other than that, uh, we have shot this. We tested it all summer, last summer, and it is a pretty, you know, accurate gun out to, you know, 21 feet or 7 yards. I mean, you shouldn't have to shoot any farther than that for a personal defense weapon. So, and other than that, I mean, it's uh, it has a little kick to it just because it is so light. It is 12 ounces, like I mentioned before. So that means. You know, it's 12 ounces unloaded, so it barely weighs anything. It weighs about as much as my wallet, and that's what I do. I'll show you guys what I use. I carry it in this holster here. I make sure it's concealed. I put it in this holster. This is called a wallet holster, basically, a back pocket holster. I put it in there, and I put it in my back pocket where my draw hand is. And I move my wallet over to my next pocket, my pants. So I hope you guys uh, like this video. Subscribe. Um, if you're really interested in getting a Charter Arms, I do recommend uh, if you're looking at the Charter Arms undercover and you're not wanting the exposed hammer, but you're not wanting just the double action only, I do recommend getting this. This is a very nice firearm, so thanks for watching.